Hi and good afternoon. My name is Diana and I'm just here with you today talking about um, the method and some of the things that helped me learn how to draw a little bit more accurately. And one of the things I learned is actually doing grid lines. Now grid lines, you can download a program or use a program that you can get on the internet. And how it works is uh, you just upload a picture and it asks you how many lines and how many rows do you want in this particular picture. And then you could download it back onto your phone or computer at home and use that. And now what it entails, it entails literally drawing lines on the picture that you've loaded. And what I found, even for a picture like this that I had drawn, my dancer, and I showed you this picture last week, which I'm gonna do a really good close up, I'm gonna put that in at the, bit, at the end, is you may be able to see a line here and lines here, just faintly. That's how I did it. I literally put the lines on my paper. So as you know, I'm not perfect. So this is what happened, okay? When I put the lines on the paper, I literally drew what was in the square on my photo. I blew it up so I could see it really big on my phone. What I didn't do is when I was drawing it on my paper, erase the lines. So what I've got is my art with the lines in it. And then what I, I looked at it one day and I said, oh my goodness, I think this is two days in. I was like, there are lines in my paper. So I had to go back and gently try to erase the lines. So lesson number one, when you're doing the grid lines, do them very, very lightly. And then when you approach the section that you're working at, erase the line. Are you gonna have lines in your work, okay? That's a fun fact. Yes, it really did happen. As you can see, it is literally still there, <laughs> my lines. I don't know if this could pick it up, but you could see right there, there's actually a line there. And yes, because why? I'm not perfect, nor do I claim to be. And this, what they would call is mixed media. So I did this with just with a pencil. That's just plain old pencil. Um, the 5B, 2B, um, and a couple of other ones that I used in here, not, not a lot. And this was also done with the watercolor blue. Didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but I left it alone. Now, the next time you see me, I'm gonna be coming back from surgery. I'm having surgery on my back. And let's see how that's gonna go. I literally have about 12 hours until my surgery is started. It's starting on Thursday morning. And the next time you see me, hopefully this will be done. Um, I'll be out for a couple of weeks, but I will certainly be back and filling you guys in on uh, what exciting things happen to me in my surgery and how I'm feeling and so on. So hope to see you soon. All right. And have a good afternoon, guys. Thank you so much. And learn something new today. When you're doing the grids, erase the lines as you go. That's my story. Thank you so much. I did it again.